My father didn't tell me how to live. He lived and let me watch him do it. Clarence Buddington Keeland. I'm a father of three, married to one wife. I got married in 1990. Uh, my daughter came 1991. My son came 1996. And the last born came 2003. As a father, as a parent, you've got young people who depend on you for education, for perspective, uh, for understanding the things of life. That's number one. But secondly, you also have the responsibility to take care of them. So you go look for resources uh, to look after your kids. Now that balance, in terms of apportioning time, how much time you spend looking for resources, how much time you spend teaching the children, it has to be a very delicate balance. Because what I've seen from my experience is that most parents, they spend the majority of the time looking for resources. So what it means then kids are growing up without the necessary education. And what do you have? People who get into adulthood without understanding the basic principles of life. I see that as the greatest challenge. In fact, I've been teaching uh, parents from 2008 based on some principles that I started off with shepherding a child's heart. And I moved on to be one of the tutors myself. And I can actually say that is one of the greatest challenges that parents have got today. As kids, we all grow up with house rules. What are one or two of your guiding principles as a dad? My aim is to make sure that when I get out of the stage, the principles that I've understood, that I've experienced, I've passed them on. What are the principles? I've got seven principles. I call them I pepsa. I for identity, P for purpose, E for empowerment, B for balance, S for success, A for action, and then L for legacy. What is my drive? My drive is that if an individual understands those principles in life and they move through life with a clear understanding of those principles, I believe that they've got a strong anchor to navigate through life and its challenges. Don't spend what we call quality time with the kids. Spend quantity, quantity time. But that quantity time must also include quality. Because a lot of us, I know, particularly as CEO, I want to say to my kids, okay, I've got one hour for you for quality time, and that's it, because I've got some, some other things to do. I believe that we need as parents to have quantity time. What do I mean quantity time? Take your son, take your daughter on an extended trip. Go fishing, for example. I love fishing because when you are in the river or in the dam or whatever, you're stuck in the middle of the dam, there's no, one, there's no way where you run to. You can spend time, talk about the principles of life, pass on value systems and so forth. That is my cry, for, for, particularly for parents. Because in an age where there's a lot of pressure to hunt for resources and so forth, a few dads have got time for their children. And my advice is create that time. Let me say that it is an incredible privilege as well as a responsibility to be a father. So allow me to say Happy Father's Day. Econet Wireless, inspired to change your world.